Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and today I have something quite special. This is Kamen Rider D End, right? He is from the Kamen Rider Decade series, released in 2016. Very, very nice artwork as usual from the Medicom Toys RH line. You can see right here, Kamen Rider Decade logo, 2016 Deluxe Edition. So he's quite recent. Um, you can see on the side here, picture of the front, the back, and the back of the box. You can see here his number 731. Nice little pose right there. Various accessories and poses. He's got his DN driver and all that good stuff. Alright, so Mars Rider, Real Action Heroes Deluxe Type 2016. So some boxes do have a bit of artwork on the inside but on the, for this guy not so much and I've actually taken him out for inspection and I thought why not do a video so as you can see right here it's been opened so it this abruptly so on the top you got a bit of artwork uh, but paperwork sorry it doesn't fall. So as you can see uh, the end driver in two states. One is the open state as well as the closed state. This is the closed state as you can see here. Uh, very nice detailing. The artwork is really the paint job is really nice. It's got that metallic finish right there. And the open state where you can just slide the cards in right there. So of course he comes with the various 1-6 scale cards, his power-up cards. Uh, to be exact, let's have a look at the box. It actually shows what cards he has, because you know I'm not going to be opening them up anytime soon. Let's zoom in. So you got the DN card, his power-ups. All the various stuff, and he's got his finishing move right there. Okay, hope you got that in focus. Is you want to focus? It just okay. There you go. So let's get into the various hands that he has. Okay, he's got the fist, the relaxed, pointy kind of hands, fist again, all that. And he's got a special card holding hand on the right side, as you can see here. So he's supposed to just take his card, show it off before he slides it into his DN driver. And the focus of the video, of course, <clears throat> is the man himself, Mr. DN. Very, very nice figure right here. You know, the first thing I noticed is that when he was introduced in the Decade series, I didn't really like the look of his suit. I mean, this looked like a escalator lines on his shoulders and his face. Um, but actually, I've grown to like it, you know. Um, he's quite a strong character in the series. Again, he's like Decade in a way that he can call on various Kamen Riders to aid him which is a kind of a cheat and um, he's got a thief mentality if you watch the series so again very nice uh, finishing he's got that glossy paint all over him on his shoulder armor his arms and that blue is really nice it really pops he's got that wonderful bluish color I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up it's not as light as you can see on the video it's very very nice. It's very similar to the box, the color of the box, right there. As you can see, got that really nice blue, All right? So it's got that gold trim, gold and black trim, all over. His leg armor. You can see his bracelet here, as well. His DN belt, all oh, very nicely sculptured. Uh, Painted as well. See the hands. 
very very nice so you can see here on the sides you can see the very bright red um, markers on his head and people do say that if you zoom in closely you can see the bug eyes behind these cards right here but overall, I think it's a fantastic figure and you know since it's a 2016 release I would assume that the issues they had previously with the earlier version of Decade, Kamen Rider Decade would have been resolved, they would have changed the material um, as you can see here this is about already a four year old figure and the texture of the suit still remains intact you can see here no rubbing, no peeling no discoloration at all so that's fantastic as you can see here uh, it really did a nice job as well on the um, shoulder armor they've actually painted it with a glossy black finish as you can see that silver metallic finish as well and gold so the paint job is really really good um, I think yeah it's pretty good overall very happy with it the figure itself is it looks great you know um, no complaints I do intend to pose him with the violent emotion Kamen Rider Decayed alright perhaps posing him while holding the gun and sliding in the cards um, yeah so again let's 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 have a look at the the gun itself oh, looks great I mean again I won't pose this guy simply because I just want to maintain the the um, the mintiness I would say of the figure itself so you can see I just slide in slid in his gun right there it looks very nice I'm not sure if you can see that check that out oh imposing character pretty strong it's kind of a cheat if you ask me calling on Kamen Riders to aid him but then again so is Zio you can see that very very nice very nicely done I'm especially um, impressed with uh, the gun itself I mean look at that again with all that uh, metallic finish it looks great all right so it's got that plastic piece here so you can actually hold a card I mean I've not tried it but I'm pretty sure the card will slide in here or at least you can pose it to look like it is and it's got that red finish on the top right here fantastic job he doesn't have many accessories I mean He's just a gun wielding character, but uh, there you go. Open and close states. Second look again. All right. Just to emphasize the point on the paint job. This is not the ZO version where it's mostly blue, which I have the DX version actually in my collection. I might do an unboxing on that. But anyway. Again, a really long, hard look at Mr. The End himself. So overall, very happy with this guy. And you can still pick him up on the uh, Project 1-6 scale uh, online store. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's maintained by Medicom Toys themselves. And yes, he is still on sale. Right, he goes for about I would say 25 250 US dollars. Yep, 250 around there. He is an expensive figure. And on the SH figure arts toy line, the I think the 10 inch uh, no no the uh, six inch figures, he's actually an exclusive. So for the one six scale, he's not exclusive, but you know, they do a real good number on him. So I'm very happy on that. So follow me on IG at LKHOE23 for more babe and toy videos. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.